Several videos on social media claim the existence of plastic rice, suggesting that this may be on the market and this has become a public concern. The Food and Drugs Authority became aware of these videos late last year and immediately commenced investigations to ascertain the truth or otherwise of these rumors. Using our nationwide market surveillance program, we obtained random samples. The FDA then went ahead to issue a press statement requesting members of the public to assist either by submitting samples of the rumored plastic rice or by giving information as to where it could be found. We subjected all these samples received to the laboratory for laboratory investigation. Results from the laboratory analysis indicated that all the samples were in fact authentic real rice and not plastic. In keeping with our regulatory practice, we contacted our international partner who was conducting investigations into the same issue. The InfoSense work revealed that rumored artificial plastic or fake rice appearing in Singapore, Nigeria and Canada turned out to be real authentic rice. The rumor of plastic rice is not peculiar to Ghana. There have been reports in the international media concerning plastic rice in Nigeria. Following its investigation, this rumor has since been denied by the NAFDAC, National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, Nigeria. Similar reports have been recorded in the United Kingdom, Canada, Singapore, and the United States of America. The European Food Safety Authority, EFSA, ranks this artificial plastic rice as the ninth of 13 emerging risks in its 2016 report on emerging risks. This notwithstanding, these rumors have not been confirmed. And in all jurisdictions, the regulatory authorities are monitoring rice imports from countries that are purported to produce this plastic rice, and Ghana is doing the same. The physical and chemical properties of plastics are such that ordinarily, they cannot be reconstituted into edible food. This is because plastics cannot absorb water and do not mix with water. The textural properties of rice varieties are due to the nature of their starch content. That is the ratio of amylose to amylopectin. Amylopectin is responsible for the sticky nature of rice. This character of starch in rice enables cooked rice grains to come together or to stick or to agglomerate and allows it to be kneaded into a malleable sphere that can bounce off hard surfaces as is depicted in some of the videos that you see on social media. Amylose is responsible for the gelatinous nature of rice and therefore contributes to the bouncy properties of the rice when made into balls. The varieties of rice that contain a higher quantity of amylose will produce greater bounce while those with higher amylopectin will bounce less. We are therefore calling on the general public, particularly the media, to partner with the FDA to raise public awareness on all matters of food safety and not just plastic rice.